a PS3 power supply. Uh, no longer using it. Tried to sell it, but nobody wanted it, so I'm going to actually use it for a 12 volt supply. Output is through there. There's a positive and negative. I can't really quite tell which one, but we'll test it uh, when we get it out. So we have five pins. One, two, three, four, five pins. And what we're going to do is we're going to solder the end to this one. And that will have the power supply go on. Next thing to do is install the PS3 switch. All right, cookie tin time. And what we have here is the uh, uh, standoffs now and screws, nuts and bolts that I use to uh, keep the PSU off the cookie tin base to allow for some nice ventilation. And the connectors are really nice actually because you can use banana plugs and or you can screw in just connectors. Uh, I use banana plugs, they fit right into the PSU perfectly. So what I have here is the exhaust fan. Um, I'm using two fans. I think one is 80 and one is 92. Or, um, but okay. So this fan is from an Xbox, um, the Xbox computer that I made into a PC, uh, and this is just a spare fan. I put them in parallel, okay, to the power cord uh, that goes to the 12 volt uh, PS3 bench supply. All right, so I have the fan hooked up, and there she is. Here is the exhaust. It's just three-inch tubing, and it's just in there. Good. And then flip on the switch, and we have the air exhausting through here. It's pretty good exhaust, you can see. It really blows quite nicely. So we use this for soldering, remove some fumes when soldering, and that's the primary use for this. I can hook this up to the window um, that's just right here in the basement and it can exhaust to the outdoors. So here is my turntable that I'm going to use for filming. Um, this is all from a, um, a barbecue rotisserie motor. I found that the rotisserie motor was very perfect. It was had the perfect speed to it and for the rotation speed uh, for taking pictures. And also the skewer, which is this is what this is, is from the rotisserie. Um, this is the... Um, these are bushings from a TV uh, mount that I didn't use, so I use that instead for the spinning. They're really a plastic that spins very, very smoothly. This is obviously cookie tin, cookie tin top that I cut out with a wood um, brace, and that's glued onto the top. And the rotisserie motor is mounted in the other side of the lid. Now. What you do is you just put this into the motor, fits right in there. And you can put, I don't know, I'm gonna probably gonna put some cloth or something on top of it. And I'll plug it in. 
And let's see it work. So, there you go. It's got a nice slow speed to it um, to cook chicken or film things. So, we'll put this on top and we'll film this. So what I like about this is this the uh, nice slow steady uh, rotation speed. It's pretty smooth. Um, so far, you know, I can add maybe a bit of silicone in between the uh, plastic washer areas so it could uh, even go smoother. But so far, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and now for my next build, uh, one of the next builds, um, this is, if you can't recognize this, it's an Xbox 360 case. It's completely gutted right now and it's ready to go. I just need to find the components and that's usually the hardest part, especially just use components. The one thing I want to do differently with this one is to up the performance a bit, I do want to add a video card. I think with my PS3 uh, PC, uh, I found it's a little bit slower. Um, because it doesn't have it. So I'm looking for an X6 uh, time 16 PCIe extension card and that should help out quite a bit.